Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins come to you from beautiful San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I hope you guys are excited for this wonderful day today. And I want to talk with you about something that many high achievers miss. And I hope you don't miss. I hope you have the opportunity to reflect on what's being spoken about today and to consider applying it to your life so that your awareness will create opportunity for you to see things differently rather than going blindly down the path without looking to the left or the right. One of the challenges of most high achievers is this, a primary, primary skill set for very high achievers is laser focus. Laser focus is the ability to lock into a task or lock into an objective or lock into a schedule, hunker down, put blinders on and move forward in order to execute those goals. The biggest challenge is if there's not a relationship of reflection, if there's not ongoing communication, whether that be with a coach or a mentor or someone that they can receive from in conversation, what you can find is most high achievers can be angry, intense, hardcore, and miserable on the path to achieving the goal they set out for themselves because they believe that their happiness, I'll be happy when, or if I can just accomplish this, then I'll be happy. Well, you know what? Once I get here, then everything's going to be okay. And they defer the joy of life until they get to their goal, which get this folks, sometimes they may not reach for years. You've heard people say it before. You may have even said it yourself. You know, well, I'll be happy when we have X amount of dollars in the bank. Well, I'll be happy when I'm at X weight. Well, when I get to this state, boom, then I'll be happy. When we do that, oh, I'll be so happy when. Now, here's what happens in your brain when you say that. Your brain says, he ain't gonna be happy until that time, and it creates a governor on your joy and ability to celebrate during the process. See that fire truck? No, it's true. He honking and whatnot to back me up. When you are so focused on celebration coming at the achievement, you rob yourself and everyone close to you from the joy of the journey. You see, it, life is found on the trip, not at the destination. Life is found on the journey, not the arrival. Life is lived out and found in the daily work, the daily hustle, the daily focus, and you can miss it. If those of you who remember the movie Tombstone, at the very end when Doc Holliday is dying at his very young age and Wyatt Earp is sitting next to the bed on him, Wyatt says something profound. He says, Doc, all I ever wanted to live was a normal life. And he said, there is no normal life, Wyatt. There's just life. And I'm going to say the same thing to you. There is no normal life. There's just life. If you remember, if you have children, you may have seen the movie Up. It's an incredibly wonderful movie about an old man who falls in love when he's younger with a young lady and they have this dream of traveling to an amazing destination on the other side of the world at the top of a beautiful waterfall. And throughout the movie, they keep saving and saving and saving and, and so excited looking forward to this day that they're going to take this trip. And you know, life happens, you know, they have, they have a, they have experience after experience, the car breaks down, something happens with the house and they keep draining the money that they saved. And ultimately, sadly, the wife passes away in this beautiful animated cartoon and the man is by himself, crusty, old and angry until a young boy scout shows up. And what they missed was the life on the way to the place that they never arrived. You see, life is in the trip, it's not in the arrival. And as he reflected back on his life, it took time for him in this movie Up to realize he actually had a pretty good life 
on the way to what he hoped to achieve, where he hoped to arrive, where he hoped to go, what he hoped to accomplish, never accomplished it and didn't recognize that life was taking place on that journey to get to the place of the arrival. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the key that I want to leave with you today is you may not be at the weight you want. You may not be at the income you want. You may not be at the education you want. You may not be at that marriage relationship connectivity and agreement that you want. You may not be at that place at work that you want. You may not be at that place with yourself that you want. And yet, my God, it is a beautiful day. You woke up. You're alive. There's so much more that you have today available to you if you'll just open your eyes and choose to live today. Celebrate the day today. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. This is your choice. You get to choose how you're going to respond. Choose how you're going to show up. Choose to celebrate your life in the process of pursuing the path to your goals and dreams, my friends. You don't want to defer your joy and celebration until you arrive because you may never arrive. Life is in the trip and the journey. It's not in the destination and the arrival. And too many people are suffering an unnecessary sadness and brokenness and emptiness because they have deferred the decision to celebrate until they arrive where they are headed. I had a great conversation wrapping up this morning with a young man yesterday and I said, you know, the thing that amazes me about the good Lord is the grace he has for us here in America, knowing that 95% of the things that Americans whine about, cry about, you're upset about, you stress about, you whine about, you complain about. 95% of those things, those problems, would be lives that 90% of this free world would gladly exchange with you. 90% of this free world would gladly exchange places with you today and take your problems for their problems. Ladies and gentlemen, you live in one of the greatest countries on the face of the earth. You live in the land of opportunity. You live in the land where if you have a job and you choose to go to your job today and say, take this job and shove it. I ain't work in here no more. You can do it. You can start a business. You can start a new life. You can start a new journey. There is no government coming to stop you from following your dreams and pursuing the goals in your heart. We live in an amazing place. Qualify what you're struggling with today. Because let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, you get to choose joy. Joy is an inside job. It's a choice, just like love. Love is not a feeling. It is a decision. Joy is also a decision. I pray today you choose to live the biggest life you possibly can and celebrate the fact that this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice. Be glad in it. It's your choice. And it was a gift just for you. Have a great day, guys.